welcome to A Year of Hitchcock Movies. We are your hosts, Jeff and Diane, and tonight is movie number 40 from 1958, Alfred Hitchcock's Vertigo. And tonight we have some special guests. We have Jeremy and Andrea. They've been following along with the blog with us, and um, they're here to do the show with us. We also are in a very, very special location. We've come to San Francisco. It's not far from where we all live. And uh, in particular, we're staying at a, at a hotel called Hotel Vertigo. And what's really neat about Hotel Vertigo is it's actually the same building that is actually uh, used in the movie. That, that when you see a hotel, a Empire Hotel in this movie you're about to watch, well, that's the building we're in. We're going to talk about more locations at the end of uh, the movie. So after completing last week's The Wrong Man, a great film but not a commercial success, Alfred Hitchcock announced that his next film was to be set and filmed in Central Africa be a spy thriller, an espionage thriller, and star Grace Kelly. Well, we all know that didn't happen. Uh, they actually went to Africa to scout out locations, found out that the logistics were going to be a nightmare, and uh, it basically just turned into a vacation. A well-deserved vacation, though, because, as you remember, we've actually just seen six movies that were released in three years. Uh, just an incredible achievement. And Alfred Hitchcock actually has just found out that Grace Kelly has, in fact, retired. That's it. She's married Prince Ranier of Monaco, and she is... That's it. She's 26 years old and no more Grace Kelly. So, more on that in a bit. So, then he got sick and needed an operation. Then he got sick again and needed another operation. And, uh, meanwhile, he chose and was very excited about the subject for his next movie, tonight's movie, Vertigo. He even knows who the two leads are going to be. He knows it's going to be James Stewart, which we're real excited about, and uh, Vera Miles, who was just excellent in The Wrong Man. Vera Miles, of course, as mentioned in previous videos, is being groomed by Hitchcock to be the next Grace Kelly, the next Ingrid Bergman, if you will. She's actually already starred in the very first episode of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, called Revenge, from 1955. And, uh, boy, they, they begin designing outfits for her, and, and there's, a, there's a, a, a portrait that you'll see in tonight's movie that was actually, uh, you know, painted in her likeness uh, to be at its big plot point in this movie. Well, what's the story idea? Well, it's, uh, it's based on a French novel called D'Entre les Morts, which in English is Amongst the Dead, written by Pierre Boulot and Thomas Nersiliac. I don't know, I'm looking it up right here, I don't know how to pronounce it. Uh, the book actually was specifically written with Alfred Hitchcock in mind. Uh, they wanted to uh, have him make a movie out of it. And according to Francois Truffaut, uh, they had heard that he was interested in a previous book they had written, which wasn't picked up by him. So no kidding, they wrote this one. So Paramount actually goes ahead and buys the rights to this book to uh, turn it into a movie. And, and Hitchcock immediately hired Maxwell Anderson to start working on the script. Now Maxwell Anderson was the guy who co-wrote The Wrong Man and uh, to begin adapting it. Well, what he turned in was a script called Darkling I Listen, Darkling I Listen, and boy, it was incomprehensible and unfilmable. So it was, uh, and it's got a weird title too, so he then turned the project over to a screenwriter named Alec Koppel, who had actually been doing some work on Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and boy, uh, Hitchcock was actually pretty disappointed with uh, what he got from him as well. So finally they brought in, uh, third time's a charm, they brought in Samuel Taylor. Samuel Taylor uh, wrote uh, the play called Sabrina Fair, and then he wrote the screenplay to Sabrina, that great movie with Audrey Hepburn. I always forget. Okay, okay. William, Holden. William Holden, perfect. And uh, what's important is he was not allowed to read the book, he was not allowed to read the two previous screenplays, and basically he was simply told the story, told the outline by Alfred Hitchcock. Uh, who may have taken parts that were written by Alec Koppel, because you do see that Alec Koppel does get partial credit for the script. And as for filming, um, you know, it's said that they stuck to the script like glue, which you know made Alfred Hitchcock pretty happy, so, uh, so cool, Sam Taylor. Now Hitchcock uh, gets happy when he starts seeing what Sam Taylor is writing, but boy, he gets uh, really, really unhappy right away, because Vera Miles, his star for tonight's movie, goes and gets pregnant. Um, and that's not good, so she's just very not available to do Vertigo, uh, as it was called at this point. So they searched for their actresses and came up with Kim Novak. Now, uh, Kim Novak was herself being groomed to be a big star, and in 1957 she actually is the number one box office draw in, in theaters, and has already starred opposite Frank Sinatra in The Man with the Golden Arm, and William Holden again in Picnic. So, uh, yeah, she's, uh, she's a, she's a well-known name. And uh, this is actually the starting point for one of the great debates about Vertigo, is what would this movie have been like with, heck, with Grace Great Kelly, and we'll get into that more, yes. with certainly with Vera Miles and, you know, with, with Kim Novak. Uh, if you've seen this before and you've seen Vera Miles in The Wrong Man, and she, of course she's uh, uh, 
uh, Janet Lee plays her sister in Psycho. You know, you can you can imagine uh, it's it's very interesting. And Hitchcock actually reportedly had immediate problems with her. Um, and you know, for the rest of his life, he said he was unsatisfied with her performance. So, uh, well, you be the judge. That's ouch. Yeah, big time. So, so it, it, it's it's generally said that you know Kim Novak does give the best performance of her career. Her, you know, she had a big career, and and ultimately is immortalized because of this performance in Vertigo. So, also in this movie is Barbara Bel Geddes. Uh, she plays James Stewart's character's uh, best friend, Midge. Um, boy, she was in I Remember Mama. She's known for that. She's in this. That was a big deal for Barbara Bel Geddes. And ultimately is the big uh, matriarch on Dallas. Dallas, yeah. Ellie? I don't know. Current yeah, I generation's what. probably more familiar with Exactly. You know, well, I'm looking up a picture of what she looked like then. So right. She also did four episodes of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, uh, including one of the best ones called Lamb to the Slaughter, which Alfred Hitchcock directed. That one appeared on TV in April of 1958. Vertigo was released in May of 1958. So. Interesting. Now, members of the Dream Team are here on Vertigo, uh, which allows Alfred Hitchcock, to my mind, to relax and, and concentrate on making this great movie. Robert Burke's probably the finest cinematography of his career. Uh, this is the ninth in a row for him, and he'll do 12 movies uh, with Hitchcock until Robert Burke passes away. This is a highly visual film, so think about that. George Tomasini, with his crisp editing, making this a very character-driven film. This is the fifth of his nine movies he'll edit for Hitchcock. Edith Head, as we mentioned, this is uh, the sixth of 11 movies that she'll be the costume designer for. And uh, boy, uh, she had to argue a bit with Kim Novak. I don't want to spoil anything, but you know they had to sit her down and, and uh, tell her the way it was that Alfred Hitchcock was very specific about uh, what she needed from her to, uh, to wear. So finally, Bernard Herrmann, of course, does the score. Uh, he's, uh, this is the fourth of his eight movies in a row that he does the music for Alfred Hitchcock. And uh, boy, this is, I think this is his best uh, score. It, it, you know, Alfred Hitchcock's favorite was The Trouble with Harry, but the music in this is, is dynamite. Both of them. It really does. It's amazing. So, um, and a new addition to the Hitchcock family member is Saul Bass. Saul Bass does the opening credits to tonight's movie, Vertigo. We're going to talk more about him next week for uh, the North by Northwest, so enough about Saul Bass. So there's a cameo to look for. Uh, it's pretty obvious you won't miss it. So let's watch this movie. This movie that was completely restored in 1996. Hopefully, I can't imagine why not. That's the version you're watching. It's a big deal. There's a feature at, at, uh, on the DVD. you got to watch it, these two guys that, that restored it. 1996. So, uh, so good. Let's uh, let's watch this uh, this great movie, uh, Alfred Hitchcock's from 1958, Vertigo. Okay. Let's watch. Three, two. How do we start the show? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We've only done four of you.